yeah what was the normal excision we were speaking it is due to atrial relaxation at the same time ventricle was contracting vigorously and pulling the floor of the right atrium downwards so more spacious atrium relaxing atrium so all the blood in the jugular vein comes into the atrium x descent pressure falls a, a condition where the tricuspid valve is perforated okay so when the right ventricle contracts and ejects blood into the right uh, pulmonary artery blood also enters the atrium so what will happen now the right atrium can't relax at the same time this ejected blood will come and increase the pressure here so can you find a fall in pressure no x descent will be absent completely okay so uh, this is a case of tricuspid regurgitation okay yes next x descent is prominent in what condition see as we told the right when contracting right ventricle pulls the right atrial flow downwards and space is provided okay in cardiac tamponade what happens is fluid excessively accumulated in the uh, around the ventricular cavity and it contracts the ventricles okay so here the right ventricle contracts more vigorously so what will happen the floor of the right atrium will be uh, pulled downward more like uh, the pressure will be reduced more in the right atrium definitely yes we can see a condition where the x descent is prominent see in this condition what happens is excess fluid accumulates in the pericardial cavity okay and compresses the heart so what happens here is in this cardiac tamponade the right ventricle is already compressed okay now the right ventricle contracts more vigorously and pulls the right atrial floor floor more downward so it, they, it creates a more spacious right atrium so all the blood accumulated in the jugular veins will rapidly come into the right atrium so that is exaggerated relaxation of right atrium and exaggerated fall in the pressure in the right atrial pressure so that is rapid x descent seen in cardiac tamponade and also in cardiac tamponade the pressure in the jugular veins will be too high so they will be trying to seep into the right atrium at any point okay so that contributes to rapid x descent yeah next next as we told v wave or volume wave meaning the right atrium is relaxing and receiving more and more blood where the pressure starts to rise this is the v wave or volume wave so what are the abnormalities possible with respect to v wave see here the v wave might be absent what i was saying it's a volume wave so v wave might be absent in case of decreased blood volume so any causes of hypovolemia or blood is not returning from the veins to the right heart why because veins are dilated if you give some venodilators so any venodilators or hypovolemia can cause absent v wave at the same time next is prominent v wave when can it happen yeah same thing hypervolemia already blood is too much it causes sudden uh, exaggerated pressures in the right atrium leading to elevated v wave at the same time yeah this you should remember see we were seeing the tricuspid regurgitation so just see what happens is so we were discussing tricuspid regurgitation for absent x descent see one more thing v waves v waves produced in ventricular systole okay when the atrium is relaxing but in tricuspid regurgitation what's happening in ventricular systole blood is not only ejected into the pulmonary artery it is ejected into the atrium 
so what happens it causes prominent v wave so what happens just think of tricuspid regurgitation a wave is produced and then no x descent because the blood is coming in that region so no x descent then v wave is produced massively so we call this phenomenon as a v fusion it is seen in tricuspid regurgitation we will see a clinical video for it to understand it better here so in jvp it's always better to correlate it with simultaneous auscultatory features so if you find any positive wave in between s2 and s1 then it's definitely an a wave okay if you find any positive wave in between s1 and s2 it might be v wave so here see this actually here with each pulsation in jvp should have two upstrokes and two downstrokes but here there is you can see two upstrokes are coming but you can find only one downstroke see it carefully so if you see this with simultaneous auscultation in diastole you will get one positive which is small a wave and a large v wave which is occurring in systole of this patient an x descent is absent so this is classically seen in tricuspid regurgitation the sign we call it as lance's sign okay okay next is y descent why was y descent produced in early part of diastole the blood which is accumulated in the right atrium suddenly falls passively so the pressure in the jugular veins fall okay so this is this is the production of y descent so now we will see the abnormalities of y descent yeah in what cases can y descent be absent meaning the blood in the right atrium can't be emptied into the right ventricle meaning some obstruction is there what is obstruction i should, i given a great clue what is this tricuspid valve is stenosed okay as we told or some atrial myxomas some tumors might be obstructing the tract so here what happens the blood from the right atrium can't be emptied into the right ventricles leading to absent y y descent in tricuspid stenosis okay yeah next prominent or rapid y descent so when will this y descent happen rapidly just think of this condition where tricuspid regurgitation what happens is all blood pumped into this atrium this as yeah in tricuspid regurgitation what happens the blood apart from pumped into the right ventricular outflow tract it is also pumped into the atrium and atrial pressure is so much elevated and it's so much filled with blood all the blood falls in the ventricles so that will produce a rapid y descent which is seen in tricuspid regurgitation okay next thing is very important with respect to uh, two conditions see in this condition the fluid in the pericardial space is too much that it compresses the right ventricle completely which is cardiac tamponade so what happens here is it compresses completely it doesn't allow the ventricles to relax and receive blood there is diastolic resistance okay so what happens the ventricles can't receive blood so what will happen the the blood from the atrium can't be emptied completely into the ventricles so this y descent is absent in cardiac tamponade okay at the same time if you see a condition known as constrictive pericarditis where where actually if you see in constrictive pericarditis and see if you see in constrictive pericarditis what happens is in early part of diastole okay the ventricles relax 
their maximum extent and receive whatever blood which is accumulated in the right atrium rapidly because they know there is mid diastolic as well as late diastolic resistance okay only part where there is no resistance is early diastole okay because not that much fluid is there in constrictive pericarditis so in early diastole what happens is it tries to receive maximum blood from the right atrium and also jp will be elevated so all the blood from the atrium falls rapidly into the ventricles leading to rapid wide descent in constrictive pericarditis actually if you see this is the only differentiating feature in jvp for constrictive pericarditis and cardiac tamponade if you see in both cases you will find elevated jvp but with the wide descent is there or not see here the resistance is pan diastolic resistance in all part of diastole there is resistance but here the early diastole is normal so it tries to receive maximum blood from the atrium leading to exaggerated or rapid wide descent okay yeah so that's it we saw all the abnormalities yeah that's it we saw the all the abnormalities of jvp first a wave absent in atrial fibrillation prominent in tricuspid stenosis myxoma or pulmonary embolism pulmonary hypertension or hocm severe aortic stenosis and canon a waves are seen if irregular complete heart block regular svts then extensent absent in case of tricuspid regurgitation and extensent prominent or rapid in case of cardiac tamponade and v wave we saw volume wave so absent in hypovolemia prominent in hypervolemia then venodilators also it's absent then in tricuspid regurgitation it is prominent then why descent it's the emptying wave it is absent in case of tricuspid stenosis as well as myxoma it is prominent in case of tricuspid regurgitation as well as prominent in case of constrictive pericarditis and why descent is absent in case of cardiac tamponade so these are the abnormalities of jvp definitely you can expect some or other questions from clinical cardiology in case of neat pg or else it's definitely uh, it's a must know topic when you come to clinics okay thanks a lot subscribe for our channel for future videos like this thank you